There are dogs, and then there are big dogs. Larger breeds can be great companions, as all the owners will tell you, but you have to know the pros and cons of owning one of these dogs, no matter where you live or how big your family may be. So let's ask our resident veterinarian, early show correspondent, Dr. Debbie Turner Bell. Well, beside them just being big, in fact, veterinarians call them giant breeds. They do have special needs. The general rule is the larger the dog, the shorter the lifespan. So you've got to know that these dogs don't always live a long time, and we'll talk about that okay. as we go along. You also got to know that these dogs, some of them eat a lot. They must. They require with that size. a lot of space. However, many of them don't need a lot of strenuous exercise. In fact, okay. strenuous exercise can be harmful. All right, so let's bring them. out the specific breeds and we'll talk about them. The Bernese yes. Mountain Dog is first on the list, and we have yes, two of them. Bring them out. We have Booba and Foxy here this morning. These are the Hello. midgets of our group here. I know. These are little. <laughs> This is comparison. Booba, who's about 115 pounds, mm -hmm. and Foxy, who's about 85 pounds. And aren't they gorgeous dogs? Mm -hmm. Sometimes mm -hmm. people confuse that these face. with St. Bernard's, but they uh -huh. are not St. Bernard's. They do have a tri-color uh, coloring, and they were bred uh, to... <clears throat> Hi, sweetie. How are you? They were bred to be guards dog as well as companions for the farmers. Mm -hmm. And so that makes them very good companions. They're good with children. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, But they have a double coat because they come from a mountainous region, mm -hmm. right? And so they they have this nice beautiful outer fur. coat but a thick undercoat and they blow it okay when it gets hot so, so you gotta know that a lot of hair involved here right, and right. a lot of grooming you need to brush these yeah, dogs yeah, in might, order to might stay want up. to cover their ears for this question what about the lifespan uh, lifespan is short unfortunately mm. six to eight years sometimes mm. and usually what gets them is cancer mm. yeah and then and that's that's true of a lot of the giant breeds All right, thank uh, but you if you much. if you get them from a reputable breeder that they've bred well then you can have a dog that'll live a good long time all right let's bring out docker thank, thank you, you thank you thank you Foxy. I've always heard that these dogs are great swimmers. These are the champion swimmers, and this Best is Docker, swimmer. four years old. Docker's 130 pounds. Half of that looks like it's hair, right? Yeah. But Docker has, as well as all Newfies, have webbed feet because they used to help the fishermen. They would literally go out into the water. They would retrieve fishing line. They would retrieve the net. Sometimes if a if a fisherman went over the board, they could go out and get uh. the fishermen and bring them back. They're sort so of called the St. Bernards of the water. Who is this dog good for besides fishermen? <laughs> Well, they're great companions. They're very, they're good with children. They're a big, sturdy dog. They, they look big and menacing, but they're a very gentle dog. Mm, gentle giant. A, a, a gentle giant. They're not the easiest dog to train, I would say. Donna might, <laughs> Donna might quib quibble I'm with you. So you have to be, you have to have consistent, gentle but firm okay. training, and it's important because they do get so big. All right, thank you, All thank right. you, Docker. Thank you, Docker. With Winnie and Jenny are Irish Wolfhounds. Now, and now you mentioned that that some of these dogs you can't exercise them too much. Isn't this the one you're talking about? Yes, especially when they're young. Oh. Uh, let's see. Let me, I have to look at them. Okay, so this is Winnie, who's uh -huh. about 130 pounds, and then Jerry over there Jerry. is about 180 pounds. These are one of the tallest of the dog breeds. I call them the supermodels of the dog breeds. If they this dog were to legs. stand, how tall? Some of them can get be up to seven feet when they're on their back legs, but you don't ever want them to be right, on their right. back legs. But these but dogs that's a grow quickly when they're puppies, and they're, that means they're at risk for a lot of joint and bone problems if you don't feed them properly and if you over exercise them. So moderate walking when they're puppies, maybe a little bit more walking when they're older, but you don't want to over exert mm -hmm. them while they're growing up because you can really mess up their, mm -hmm. their, their, their skeletal system. Right, and you were saying they're great with kids, right? Wonderful. Wonderful with kids. Again, another, another dog gentle giant. that doesn't train very easily. Mm -hmm. However, uh, they're, they're just lovely, wonderful, sweet dogs. Mm. These are not watch dogs or guard dogs. They love everybody. All right, thank you guys. <laughs> Let's bring out the <laughs> Mastiffs, All right. the bad boy. Boys, Bones and Kirk, come on out. Now, I, I sort of I want a soundtrack for these, these dogs because so they're just so the big. Great Dane too. Bow, wow, wow, yippee yo, <laughs> yippee <totally>. yay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is Bones, who is 10 and a, is, is 12 months, almost 13 months old, and Kirk. Both of them weigh about 180 pounds. Now, these look like vicious dogs, they do. don't they? They do. They are so sweet. Mm -hmm. And they will be a couch Aww. potato if you allow them to. They'll also become overweight if you're not careful, so you do right. want to keep them active. And um, as you warned us before, you should know before you get when they slobber. A yes. little bit. I was hoping bit. they'd have a little slobber running from their cheeks. Well, th this one does. got a little bit. Yeah. All right. Also, with almost all these dogs, you've got to be ready for the spit. It's okay. just what they do. <laughs> it's part of the package. You carry towels around and, you know, 
you just have to clean up after them. All right, thank you. And finally, thank the you great very much. Dane. And Treat the is here. Oh, this is Treat. Oh, my goodness. Treat is 162 pounds. Is 164. 164. So much bigger than you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Treat, of course, is a Great Dane. And, of course, Marmaduke, the movie that's coming out, exactly. is a Great Dane. I wanted to include this dog because people are going to see that movie, so see I the said, dog, yep. love it, run out and get it, and not know what they're getting yep. into. Like the 101 Dalmatians. Everybody got a Dalmatian. Don't do it. You've got to do your research. Of course, this is a big dog, eats a lot, has a lot of the same concerns. How I want to talk they about eat real quick. Um, Treat eats about three cups a day. Eight, eight cups eight a day. Eight cups a day. Eight okay. cups a day. Uh -huh. I got that wrong. Take the three and put another three behind it. All eight right. cups a day. So they eat a lot. They do have some health problems, some heart problems, some muscular skeletal problems. But if you get a good dog from a good breeder, then you'll you'll have the best situation. Thank you, Deb. All Thank right. you all. Thank you, Thank Treat. You, treat. Oh. A lot happens early on The Early Show. Weekday mornings on CBS.